very funny. Just got done working on Transformers 3, and you'll see him on Detroit 187 on November 17th. Please give it up for Dave Donaldson. What's up, Detroit? Yes, Transformers 3. Thank you, Tax Incentive. Jesus. Look at you guys, you guys are having some fun, right? Yeah? Yeah? The first thing I'd like to do for you guys is a quick impression of what I think Fight Club's Edward Norton would look like if you were doing stand-up comedy at a place called Laugh Tracks, maybe wearing a Chevrolet t-shirt, a pair of jeans, maybe a pair of DC shoes. There's this one girl that came up to me and she said, you kind of look like Edward Norton, the fatter. I was like, thanks, you kind of look like Keith Richards. <laughs> Fuck you. The conversation continues. She goes, what's your sign? I'm like, Scorpio. She's like, oh, that's really weird. I never would have thought that. I'm like, what's your sign? She says, Capricorn. It's like, that's really weird. I never would have thought that either. She's like, why? I'm like, because you kind of look like a bitch. <laughs> mm. It's all about communication, people. Nerdy people. Where's my nerdy people? A couple people. I'm glad that you guys are like front row. You're like, duh. <laughs> I think one of the ways you can tell if you're nerdy or not is if you're using language that, yeah, it does belong there, but not in like a social matter, you know? Like the other day, I'm in Kroger with my stepdad, and uh, he comes up to me and he goes, just so you know, I repositioned the vehicle. <laughs> Calm down, double O negative. What just happened? Seriously? Okay, fine. I'll set up a perimeter around the cheese. Synchronize your watches for 0430. Let's go, go, go. It's just weird. Stupid language that we had. All the different types of communication. This is all the things that I like to talk about. Texting. We have texting for communication, right? Everybody does it. Who does not do texting? Does anybody? Good talk. <laughs> Um, I had the dumbest text of my life the other day. Me and my friend were having a half an hour conversation via text because we're stupid. And, um, at the end of the conversation, I'm like, all right, dude, I'll talk to you later. He sends back, call me. Dude, we are done. We're, we're fucking done. So I called him and he picks up the phone. He says, hello? And I said, text me. And I hung up the phone. All those types of uh, communication, miscommunication. I've actually been learning a little bit of sign language recently. I found out a couple things. I found out that this meant about, this is achieve, and this is um, abortion. I don't really know what I would use that for unless I was in like Planned Parenthood, trying to be all covert, like my stepdad, like, yeah, just so you know, I'm here for the. Uh... But the other one that I learned was airplane. And it, 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 it kind of throws me off just a little bit because I'm trying to think to myself, is there a deaf guy at a rock concert somewhere watching a bunch of people go? <laughs> singing to himself. <laughs> I think you even meant to happen. <laughs> That's how they talk, shut up. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's talk about sex, because that's never been done in the comedy circuit. First time I ever learned about sex, I think it was probably um, I was about 11 years old. I came downstairs. My dad is watching um, Skinamax. Uh, also known as Cinemax. You guys familiar with that? Yeah. He's watching two people, you know. <laughs> And I'm trying to think to myself, like, okay, obviously I know what's going on on TV, but I always want to have my dad's side of it. And he goes, or, or I ask him, and I say, Dad, what's going on? He says, they're wrestling. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Who's winning? The guy, obviously. <laughs> it's just weird. It's weird. I, I love sex, and it's because of the fact that it's, it, it, it's kind of like comedy for me. Comedy for me is kind of like sex and the fact that based on my performance, there's that awkward silence. <laughs> exactly. 
uh, not much of a, a dater anymore. I've been in the weirdest relationships recently. Um, I was with a girl and uh, we're laying down, we're having a really good conversation and uh, I was feeling really into her. So I was like, hey babe, you know, I, I really like to take our relationship to the next level. You know, and then I paid her and she left the hotel and that was a good decision. <laughs> Prostitution joke, never again. Mm, the next girl after that though, she was like, oh, let's try some new stuff in the bedroom. Some new stuff, you know, keep it crazy, whatever. She's like, bring some food into the bedroom. I'm like, well, what kind of food do you want me to bring? Ladies, be specific. <laughs> She says, I don't know, be creative. Long story short, she's still mad at me for third degree burns of Campbell's soup on her back. Mm -mm, ouch. So, the girl after that, though, it was kind of interesting. Like, we had a really good relationship. We had a really great relationship. We started off fine, and then we moved into the movie Saw. Here's a quick impression of what that relationship was like. Oh my god, Dave, you're so funny, you're so hilarious. I want to play a game. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave you guys with this and I'm going to take off. You ever find your mom's vibrator and think to yourself, this might not be so awkward if it wasn't my room? <laughs> Good talk. <laughs>